Good morning. I'm Paul Guy from Evidence, from Italy, and uh, in this presentation I will show you E4 Coda, which is a toolbox for, for SIDAP. Um, the, the, the agenda of the presentation is more or less the following. I will give you a short company profile and details on the, on the toolbox and a few demos also, and something about its av the av availability of the, um, uh, of the demo, of the um, toolbox. But just to start, everything in one slide. Uh, the important message that I want to give you in this presentation is that final state machine simulation is now available on SiteUp. What does it mean? It means that the toolbox that we are presenting, if for coder, is providing two, thi two main things currently, which is SMQ, which is state machine simulation, and if for coder GUI, which is GUI prototyping. It's available currently now for Scilab. And if you go on the website, you can download the installation manual, attach the Atoms repository, download it and use it. Um, it's available as a commercial license through Scilab Enterprise and Evidence. And the next step will be the porting of the code generation. I will give you details on all this during the presentation. But first of all, just I want to tell you who we are, where we come from. This is evidence. I want to, I like to put people up front because the people is the real value of the company. We are 20 people of 13 years mean age, 30% with a PhD, and we do software, software development for embedded electronic devices. Uh, just an idea of some customers, uh, mainly automotive, Magneti Marelli. If you buy a Fiat, for probably the um, Giulia, the Alfa Romeo Giulia, in a few years, it will have our operating system, which is an open source operating system. Ariston for boilers, or Honeywell, Indesit, Piaggio, the electric bike, Enea for, it's like say in France, which is for um, nuclear power plants, or other Linux stuff. Okay, like uh, Siemens, uh, Navionics, EMA, and others. Okay, so what we do, we do software, RTOS, firmware design, embedded Linux. We have done Eric Enterprise, which is the only OSEC VDX certified open source kernel on the market, Evelyn for, um, uh, for Linux-based systems. We also do model-based design. We do for color, matrix, uh, national instruments, and e uh, Eclipse things, okay? So just to give you a, a rough idea of what we do in the company. But let's, let's focus on e for coder What is e for coder e for coder is the idea came to us a long time ago. Actually, I was here in 2009 in Setup Tech invited by Claude, and I was presenting another code generator. But now we evolved the toolbox to e for coder which is a toolbox to simulate and generate code from um, for embedded targets from Scilab and Cyclosab designs. Okay? So it's a tool set, was developed since 2012, and you can simulate and generate code for continuous time and discrete time designs. You can simulate and generate code for finite state machines. You have GUI panel code generation, and you, the important thing, you can simulate and generate code without changing the diagram. Okay, so the same diagram can be used for code generation, and for simulation. It can generate multi-rate designs with an RTOS, so with a real-time operating system or, or without a, a real-time operating system. For example, using bare metal, we support bare metal, we support the OSEC VDX for automotive, we support Linux, RTIE, and Windows as well. The web website where you can download the, the information about the, the toolbox is this one, eforcoder.com. But let's start with uh, some ideas of what we, you can do. Basically, you can design complex systems. This one resembles a, what is it? a boiler. Okay, more or less a boiler. What is, is a system uh, that you have in your house, a boiler, a gas boiler, when you want to set up some temperature of the water, of the hot water that in your house. Uh, this design has been designed using our toolbox, uh, and I, for, uh, just to give you an idea of the kind of code we can generate for 54 states uh, with a few super states, 
a 9 level dip, you can get on an 8 bit microcontroller something like 6K of footprint in the microcontroller. So it's available and it's running on a real system. And just to give you an idea, uh, let's go here and I'll give you an idea of the state machine which is actually running on this system. This is just a, a, a not the final version, it's an intermediate, intermediate version, but this is actually the toolbox we are going to present, SMCube. It, it enables you to use and design state machines, so you can take a state, move it there, you can take arrows and, and move it there and so on, and of course you can undo things. You can go in the on state, you can have probably winter summer, for example, and winter summer you have, if you think of the border, on, off, winter and summer and so on. So you have three states and you change depending on the input, winter, summer, okay? Or you can go do the control, you have a working state, you, when you are active, you may, uh, you may have something like the settings, the mode of the discharging and so on. So this is a, a real state machine for a real product. Okay, so this tool has been developed by us in, in Qt and is integrated in Titan inside Synap. Then what we can do, we can generate code. What I mean by generating code? You can actually first simulate the design and we need some, some way to, to simulate this kind of system. So you need some, some way to visualize things. So what we developed is a GUI editor. So this is the editor of the GUI for the system. So you can have widgets that you can actually move or, or you have images that you can actually move and so on. And you, um, you can design a border, ima a border image with clickable widgets. Why this is important? Because you have a simulated model of something and you can display to a marketing guy, look, this is the border, can you press here and, and see how it works? And if you want to give it to someone, you are actually to probably create a generate code for Windows to get an application. That here is the application running. This, is a, this application has been generated from uh, from the diagram and it's a, a Windows application generated by the code generator which is resembling the, the simulation that we can do. Okay, let's go back. So, um, you have this kind of thing but you also have maybe something on the final target where, where you can press the things. This is an actual hardware that we built. It's a here plus it's a Cypress PSOC and these are capacity sensors. Okay. This is running the state machine that we developed using the tool. Okay? I really want to give you another success story. If you want details, I have a few brochures on them. And just an idea of another complex system you can develop with this. This one, Venometer, is a startup in Vancouver, in Canada. It's a customer of ours, and they do, they develop all the simulation inside of an electric vehicle for a Velocar. What is a Velocar? i just give you an idea. This is a Velocar. It's an electric bike with three wheels and all the, 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 the this, this Velocar is running, is running using code which has been generated from CyberStab and, uh, and, and from CyberStab and you can actually have the, the, it, it running and it's actually the, the, the microcontroller is an Arduino board and the final the system they have will, uh, will run using STM32, uh, which is um, a Cortex M4. Okay, so what is uh, how is the uh, if a code developer is uh, composed by a set of building blocks? The first thing is the code generator, then SM cube for the state machines, the GUI editor, and the an if for box, which is a a box for rapid prototyping. So about uh, the code generator, you can generate code for embedded devices. We have a peripheral block set so that you can generate code for it. And the same diagram can be used for simulation and code generation in the sense that uh, you, we, you can select which part of the diagram you can generate code for. And 
and also you can generate the software architectures of the tasks in the system. We have SMQ, which is the tool I showed you before for the state machine, where you can simulate the, the, the state machine and you can integrate it to something like a, a Scylla block, which is integrated in a, in, a, in a palette. The same thing you can do for the GUI editor, where you can actually design a GUI and animate it using, using when you simulate on, on Scylla. And finally, there is E4 Box, which is a complete box where we have Linux plus RTIE plus everything installed, where you can actually generate code and integrate things using a national instruments acquisition box. So you can do rapid prototyping using using Synap. Uh, finally, I want to show you something about another demo, which is a demo we we give with together with the tool so that you can see the actually the tool uh, running really so this is you know Scilab 552 we have just loaded it just started and it loaded the the tool which is this one if we have uh, sorry I don't have the network now so it's not there is no network here so it's, so I'll, I'll, let's start with a sign up demonstration if for coder in, inside the demos. Inside the for coder you can have SM cube. With SM cube, let's try a dashboard demo. This demo here is a reproduction of a standard simulink demo. It's the automatic gear demo. So basically what you have, you have a GUI for the, the, the guy who is taking the brake and the throttle, and then we have um, a model of the shift logic of the engine, of the vehicle, which at the end give you some speed depending on, on the throttle and the, on the gear, cha gear change. The shift logic is implemented is in two state machines. So you have the first one, which decides if you want to go up or down as a gear. So if you click on it and you say editor, you start SMQ and you have a simple state machine where you have steady state, down shift and down shift. Okay. And on the other end, it's generating using the data model. This is actually outputting two events up and down. And those two events are actually connected to the gear uh, object here, where you have the, the gear. So, first, second, third, fourth, and you can see how here, which is the output value of the block, which is giving the value of the, of the gear, no more than that. So it's a simple state machine. And we are now going to simulate it, and I want to, to show it to you in interactive mode. Okay, then, in addition to the Simulink demo, we have also a dashboard GUI that takes speed, RPM, and gear here and actually displays it using a hopefully nice dashboard. Okay, so it's a, it's a, of course, it's a background image with a, just three widgets for RPM, speed, and Okay, so at this point we can just start the simulation. What happens now is that the state machines are generated, compiled, linked into the, the tool, and shown. So now you have what you have is a, is a, this is a simulation. So you have a simulation of the dashboard. It's stopped. Why it is stopped? Because the state machine here is waiting, I, I asked for an interactive mode, so it's um, actually waiting to, to be started. So I just, sorry, I just take it a little bit smaller so that I, everybody can see it. Okay, let's put it here and try to make it play. And you can see these parts are moving, okay. And the, 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 let's replay it so it's, uh, 
give the the the, the, the demo runs so just a few seconds and here it is so you can see it just moves simulate uh, the buoy dynamically. Uh, this is just an output, but you can also take the input like you have seen for the for the boiler. Okay? And you have the, the animation of the, the gear changing here. Every time you change the, the state is highlighted. Okay? So this is just a simple demo using state machines and uh, a GUI editor. So let's go back on the on my presentation. And uh, so, what is available today on Scilab is SMQ and Before Code GUI in simulation. Available today. So, you, well, that, what does it, that it means? If you go on the website, you download the Atoms repository, you install it. It will ask you for a license code. You, you, we give the license and and. Um, and you can try it. Okay, the e box and e code CG will be developed afterwards. In uh, will be ported afterwards in uh, in a few months. The licensing is available through Salab Enterprises, so that the, you can ask uh, to the Salab Enterprises guys or to us to to get a a, a license of the tool. Uh, the current roadmap is the following. Currently, we support only simulation. The simulation part. We are going in, uh, in the next month to port it on on the on the Linux versions of of Scilab. We are going to improve SMCube for various various things and uh, add the code generation, multi-panel GUI and other things, and probably also French language translation because users of Scilab are mostly French. I mean, there are a lot of French using it, and they enjoy. Uh, um, uh, localization, uh, localized version. Uh, that's it for, for now. If you have any questions, uh, I'm available here and uh, these are my contacts. Thanks.